Hello, my name is Draconosaurus and today we're going to make a Trespasser level. First thing we'll do is open Trespasser Twilight, which you can find at my on my signature at Trescom or in the Trescom download section. And we're going to use something called Shell Generator. It was created by Rebel and it's quite handy. We're going to call this level Tut Lev 1. Swap size determines how many uh, textures you can pack. This is a very small level, we'll make it just 6. Create. Down here we have our level files. The WTD or terrain file that it makes is useless. Delete it. We're going to delete it and uh, a terrain placement file is made. Cut it, then paste it into the terrain folder. Replace one that's there if there is one. The next thing we're going to do is give a texture to the terrain placement cube. Here I have several. We're going to use, uh, let's use this one, sort of a Jurassic Park 3 looking logo. Copying the name of the bump bitmap file and uh, you open you open the I have my computer is set to open TPM files by default with Notepad. That's not that difficult to do. So you open it. At the top here, there's only one material terrain placement. It's for the object. Select the name paste and save, close, we'll be using that shortly, oh yes, and so in, I, in Trespasser Twilight I've included several import folders to uh, streamline the creation of new levels. Uh, in the import terrain folder I have included all of build 96's terrains, all of build 116's terrains, but for this example, we're going to use what I've called flat WTD. Copy, paste, rename it to the level, which is tutlev1, and select all five level files, cut, and paste them into whatever level directory you'll be using. I'm use, currently using Trespasser Custom Edition primarily, and go to the data folder, paste, your level is ready to be modded. The next step is to open Geomad, which can be found in Trespasser Twilight. Click OK, import file, first we should do that terrain placement cube. Let me see, tut level 1, shell generator, import terrain, terrain placement. I will use the default import settings, the import worked. And the, uh, the only errors at the moment, no sky or player. Next, we're going to import the vocal cubes. So open your level again. This time, go to import vocals. I've included a whole bunch here. We'll use the basic ones, dinos trez. And then player trends. That's an next we'll go for the player.
in the uh, basic release of Trespasser Twilight, there are there's only one player, if I remember, and that is Anne One One Six. There are a whole bunch we could use here. We're gonna stick with Anne One One Six since she's the most common one. One One Six refers to the build of the retail release of the game. Again, default import settings. And now, the next thing to import is the sky. We're going to go into the shell generator folder, import sky, and I've included a lot of sky textures. There are some here that aren't included in the Trespass or Twilight release. Let me see, there's a whole bunch. For this one, we're going to use sky pp128. Select, copy the name of the sky file. Open sky tpm. Go to the texture assignment. Paste, save. Close, import file, top one, import sky, sky, default settings. Also, this thing that was that's checked here, that's very important for the player, but I've never had a reason to uncheck it. Next, let me see, import file. There is a folder for base objects. Uh, I, want, I, I really wanted to make sure that people could sort of have one place to get all these things and not have to dig into retail or fan mods every time you needed a basic import for the ways to get a level started. Here I have the the start triggers for each of the retail levels, along with some other ones. We're going to use Ascent 1, number 7. Looking good. Oh, Pathfinding is found in and Body. Uh, that's something we can fix later, but it doesn't actually affect the gameplay. And that's not all that's in this folder. There are all manner of other basic ones. I have a few I routinely import. D-Light Extra. As I recall, not all of the retail levels have a sun object. That's what this is. I don't remember if Ascent 1 has one or not. We'll go ahead and skip that. Particle effects. I always include that. Next one is going to be Teleport Start, very handy object to have so that you can use the T-Next cheat in-game. After that there's Trigger Cube and Trigger Sphere, we'll import those. And finally, a handy object, which isn't always something you need, is Water Entity, which is a small water object I took from Industrial Jungle. It's, uh, it's very basic. You can make it, use it to make just about any water, but you may want to get your water object from somewhere else. Let me see, we've imported all those. 
what is the next thing? There's several options here. We've done bass, player, sky, terrain, vocals, terrain objects. I am, let's see. For terrain objects, we're going to use the import directory option. And we're going to use basic. That's something I assembled of uh, your a few base objects, blood, and a base terrain. Because we used import directory, all three TPM files will be imported at once. That's still the only error. Let's see what this looks like in Trezid. Top of one. Let's see. Here we see the sky in Anne's hand. And uh, she's currently under the terrain. Let's select her and move her. Where'd she go? Uh, uh, there she is. Uh, now I just hit Control 6. That is a uh, that changes the viewer speed. This is speed six. There are the terrain objects. This is speed five. This is speed four. This is speed three. It gets progressively lower. You want different speeds for different uh, areas that you're working with at one time. I'm going to turn on C here, which turns on the triggers, and you can see the ones we imported earlier. I just take Control W to warp and in the front of the viewer. I'm going to turn on sub objects. That's the dollar sign, and we can see what she's made of. I'm going to bring her down. Oh, um, okay. Very important thing. These arrows here. Blue is the z-axis. Red is the x-axis, and Y is and green is the y-axis. And you hit, uh, to move along the X, you press 1. To move along Y, you press and hold 2. This is the at the top of the keyboard. 3 for Z. And then 4 is rotating around these axes. And then, of course, Control z is undo. Going to place the foot box so that it's resting on the terrain. This is what we have. We're going to save and test this level to make sure it works. Trespasser Custom Edition. Here we have a menu made by a trescom.org member tattoo. We're going to hit Control Shift QW, and our tut level will be at the bottom of the list. It's loading, and it works. Ta-da! Here's the water you see. Triggers around here. Nothing here. Bet you Hammond's the one who's got all the fun satellite phones. And that's that. So that was part one of the Trespasser Trezid tutorial. Next time we'll start importing more objects into the level, manipulating them, and uh, after that we'll make a scene eventually, and we'll go all the way until we have a finished working level. See you next time.